Hey everybody, it is Deanna Fenton here. I want to welcome you to this week's episode of Simple Steps to Online Success. My goal is to help you online course and membership site creators um, navigate all the technology that is involved to help you build your profitable business, primarily with my tool of choice, which is Kajabi. Uh, just look on Facebook for the Kajabi Kickstart, or you could do facebook.com forward slash Kajabi Kickstart. So many people, and it's very interesting to me that what happens is people sign up for, um, for Kajabi, and then they don't really know what they've signed up for. And I guess it's because that they have continually heard of Kajabi as a course or membership site platform. But um, they don't understand that you can exact you can build an entire website and your blog, blog or vlog or you know your platform for your podcast episodes on your own website. You can do all of that in Kajabi. So that's when it becomes a matter of is it the right thing for you to do? So one of the first things when somebody is either evaluating or just getting started with Kajabi, if you already have an existing website, you need to determine, does it really make sense for you to move your website to Kajabi? It is an absolute huge convenience, I'll just say, to have everything on one platform. And really right now, if you anybody has looked at the Kajabi website themselves, they're really playing up what all the different tools are that they can replace. And it just makes operating your business super simple. Coming from somebody who's built WordPress websites since 2006, let me just tell you, it's a breeze to have it on Kajabi in comparison. But that may or may not be the right answer for you. One of the things that I've talked about before is kind of the steps of what you might want to do, that you might want to go through to determine whether or not it's a good idea for you to switch your existing website, whether it's Squarespace, WordPress, Wix. Let me just tell you, if it's Squarespace or Wix, I don't think you you lose anything at all. WordPress is a different kettle of fish depending on the, the type of business that you have and how long you've had your website and how much content you have and how much, as we say, SEO juice your site has. And that simply means if your site has ranked for important keywords and important topics that you focus on, and your site is ranking quite well, a WordPress site is ranking quite well, um, it, it would be a lot of work to transfer all of that to Kajabi and ensure that you do not lose that. I want to say credibility. There's a better word, but, but that established credibility that you've built with the WordPress site. So I would be the first one to tell you that if you have a WordPress site that you've had for years and years and years, you have a ton of blog posts and content specific to your niche, specific to your key, your primary keywords. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my website on Kajabi. 